Introducing Billy Gray as Bud, father knows best. Billy was an American Speedway star in the 1970s, was considered one of the first stars of Speedway. He was a great childhood actor, and then he turned to be a Speedway writer. Billy Gray, number 99, one of the top, one of the first great writers in Speedway. But wait, wait! There was the Mill Brothers, the first real celebrities out of American Speedway from 951 East Colorado Boulevard. The Mill Brothers was considered one of the best teams in Speedway. You had the three-time United States Speedway champion, Cordy Mill, one of the fastest United States Speedway riders ever, Cordy Mill. Brother Jack Milne was the first United States World Champion, 1937, and was one of the greatest speed riders ever. Number one best brother team in American United States Speedway history. Milne Brothers rocked. The Milne Brothers, they rocked. Some may dispute that they were the best brother team in U.S. Speedway history. However, the truth is, they were the best U.S. Speedway team in U.S. Speedway history. If you enjoy Speedway and the show, the Milne Brothers, please subscribe. The Milne Brothers, they were cool. They were the first celebrities in American Speedway history. Cordy Milne was a star in England. He was on baseball cards. All the advertisers because he had good looks. Cordy Milne was a good looking guy. The advertisers, they loved Cordy Milne. When Cordy came to England in about 36, he was already a two time United States Speedway champion, 1934 and 1935. Older brother Jack, he came to England with nine fingers. He was missing his left thumb. He had a speedway crash. Before he went to England, he was out for about three weeks. He avoided a crash and a rider followed him before him. He flew through this fence. His finger, his left thumb, got caught in a fence. He didn't even know he lost his thumb. Then he looked in his glove. He said, there's a loose thumb. Back in the olden days, travel was rough. It took two months to go to England. There's no airplanes back in those days. They had to take that boat, probably from Los Angeles. They had to go through the Panama Canal. That was probably an adventure. And go all the way to England. It took two whole months to get there. I heard the Milne brothers, they worked on their speedway bikes on the bottom of the boat. They had lots of time to prep their speedway bikes. It cost so much money for travel, eating food, for two months. The Milne brothers, both of them, they were pretty much broke when they got to England. And that was a good motivation to what? To win a lot of races. And thus, the Milne brothers, they did win a lot of races. And they won a lot of money. They were of Scottish descent. The Scottish descent. And they liked everyone to say their name properly. They would say to the announcer and to others, my name is Milne. <laughs> Jack was a loyal rider of sorts. He raced all three seasons for the same British League team. It was the New Cross Tammers, and they were really good. Why? Because Jack Milne, he raced on that team. Younger brother Cordy, he raced for three British League teams from 36 to 39. He raced for Bristol, Southampton, and he raced for Hackney. His first team was Hackney, and he won the first year the prestigious London Cup. However, 1937 was the year of Jack Milne. Why? Because he went to Australia. He won the Australian National Championship. Jack continued to dominate in 37, winning the NSW Championship and the London Writers' Championship. Jack's crowning achievement in 37 was winning the 19. 
37 World Championship. He won that World Championship at Wembley in front of 85,000 screaming fans. The first time in American history, it was three riders from the United States on the podium. Second place was Lammy Lamoureux, and third place was brother Cordy Milne. Not only were these three riders from the United States, but they were from the state, the great state of California. And not only were they from the great state of California, they were from the city of Pasadena, California. Jack nearly won his second back-to-back -back world championship. He missed it by that much. And he had a great success. In winning the National League Championship. 1939 was the year of brother Cordy Milne. He was the high point British League rider. He was smoking. He was in the prime of his racing career and he was primed to win the world championship. Everyone was expecting the new world championship to be Cordy. However, everything stopped because of World War II. That was the end of the Milne brothers in England. They decided to get a boat, leave the country, and they went ahead and took their money, their $4,000. Jack and his wife are here at Waterloo Station in London. Jack and their wives, they set sail for California. They found a ship with American flags. They didn't want to get bombed by the Germans. So they made sure they had American flags on the ship. They set sail for California, never returned to England, never returned to the British League. It was over. The Milne brothers took the $4,000 that they earned, and in Pasadena, they started a motorcycle shop. They sold motorcycles. And Jerry Fairchild, before they closed, he took me in there, showed me all the motorcycles for sale, and guess what? They sold JAPs. When the Milne brothers came home in the 40s, they are racing Speedway at Gilmore Stadium. Street in Fairfax in Los Angeles, California before 18,000 screaming fans. Speedway was big. It was popular in California. People paid like 35 to 75 cents to race, to watch the racing of the Speedway. Speedway was big in the 40s. They had a track at the Naval Base in San Diego, California. Three, two, one. Santa Ana, Santa Monica, Fresno, and more. They had speedway tracks everywhere. The 1940s was like a heyday of speedway in California. The Mill Brothers, they were racing all those events and they were winning all those events. They made lots and lots of money. However, speedway, died around 1950s when the advent of TV came in. Now this is a Chiquita Banana. Chiquita Banana, Chiquita Banana. Everybody stayed home and watched TV and nobody was going to the Speedway races. Oh my. Oh Lassie, I love you so much. Ah. Jack then got out of Speedway and he bought a car dealership. And then he had a bleacher business for the Rose Parade in Pasadena, California. And Jack Milne was making a lot of money. In 1968, Jack and his manager of the car dealership, Harry Oxley, they heard about Speedway at the Whiteman Stadium. Jack knows a little about Speedway, right? And Jack and Harry, they went and watched the races at the Whiteman Stadium. They liked it, but the fans were too far from the action. And Jack and Harry start thinking. Hmm. They wanted the fans to be closer to the action. 
So they found Costa Mesa Fairgrounds. They went to the fair board. They petitioned them. They wanted Speedway. And in the summer of 69, the fair board granted them permission to start Speedway at the Orange County Fairgrounds. It was the summer of 69. Costa Mesa was a raging success. I bet Jack and Harry were really happy about that. Jack installed those 2,000 stands from his business at the Costa Mesa Speedway. They went to 4,000, 5,000, to 6,500 stands. Costa Mesa rocked. Sad to say, in 1978, Brother Cordy Milne, he died of lung cancer at the age of 65. Rest in peace, Cordy Milne. Jack was involved at Costa Mesa Speedway up until his passing in 1995. Rest in peace, Jack Milne. Every year at Costa Mesa Speedway, at the beginning of the season, they have the prestigious Milne Cup. And that's a very famous cup. And it's an honor to Jack Milne. That cup is the same cup that when Brad Oxley was a little boy, he was at Jack Milne's shop and he looked at his trophy and Jack Milne said, do you like that cup? And Brad said, yeah, it's nice. And Jack Milne said, take it, Brad, take it. And Brad had it in his bedroom, putting coins in it. Until they decided to put it on the Jack Milne cup. Cordy when he was alive he had a beautiful wife named Verna hey. they had four daughters one of the daughters is Sandra Her name was Sandra Hicks she was heavily involved in the Costa Mesa Speedway for many years she was the scorekeeper and the back gate person Sandra honored her father's name, Cordy, really well in the Speedway world. We appreciate you, Sandra Hicks. And Cordy's grandson, Gary Hicks, he raced Speedway for some 30 years. Gary was a top Division I United States Speedway rider. Gary Hicks, he honored Cordy's legend by being one of the top United States Speedway riders. Jack and Cordy Milne, the Milne brothers, they were good. They were amazing. They were the number one top brother team in United States Speedway history. They won so much. They were just gifted. They were amazing Speedway riders. And we honor the memory of the Milne brothers. Rest in peace, Jack and Cordy Milne. <laughs>